Hello, I'm here with Michael Hedgepeth, Senior Software Architect with NCR. Michael, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about what NCR does. NCR is basically powering consumer transactions for our customers, which are banks, uh, retail establishments, and restaurants. And uh, we are powering an omnichannel reality uh, that our customers, these uh, big institutions, are really facing today to make, um, to basically reach their customers from a lot of different places, like from phones to websites to walking in the store, whatever it is, we, we help bring technology to those places so that we can draw those customers in for our customers to make them more successful. So at the end of the day, you're giving your customers the ability to best interact with their customers at any given point of interaction. Right, awesome. and we, I focus mainly within the hospitality sector, which is restaurants. Very cool. So you're very active in the DevOps community, an advocate for all things DevOps and the principles and what that can do for businesses and organizations. Talk to me a little bit about what you would recommend people do to start implementing DevOps in their organization, where to start, and how to think about the process. Yeah, and I think that coming to a place like ChefConf is a really great thing to do, or watching the videos on ChefConf. I remember one of the first things I did was got on YouTube on the ChefConf channel and, and watched the talk. And I realized that there is a big picture of DevOps, and there was a lot of great things, a lot of great companies like Etsy that, that have done some uh, wonderful things with DevOps. But then I also had to come to the realization that those companies were years into their transformation. And what I needed to do at that point was see that as a vision and be inspired by that, but then come up with a three to six week uh, target that I can show the company some real change mm. so that they could deepen their investment into what I was doing and so that I could get to that year three and year four uh, situation. I think a lot of times people get lost in, in that reality that you need to create early and often change uh, to actually sustain change within a large organization like ours. And so start small, get some success that you can then take to folks and show them what's possible so that they can buy in and you can broaden that and broaden that further. Absolutely, and that's what we've done. That's very cool. So tell me a little bit about bringing DevOps and NCR specifically and the things that that's allowed you folks to do. Yeah, so as I was saying earlier, NCR is really focused on creating a omnichannel reality and, and what omnichannel basically means is there's so many different directions from which um, our customers are facing their customers from a, a online ordering on a website to a, a mobile ordering type of situation and so we knew that that was a big growth area for us and we knew that our customers needed a trusted partner uh, in NCR to be able to grow to the scale that we were expecting um, as this market is growing and so we're using DevOps to be able to realize that scale. Um, we started that out in our online ordering product within hospitality, and we've been able to see the scale increase safely because we're using a Chef as a partner to, to enable a consistent delivery mechanism and a consistent operational model uh, Very for cool. our, us and our customers. That's awesome. So you've obviously spent a good amount of your career doing different types of automation and watching automation technology itself evolve since you started out in this business and in this industry, what have been some of the coolest things you've seen in terms of technology, specifically around automation, but getting the most out of your infrastructure and managing it? Um, and where do you see it going from here? Yeah, I started out as a software developer. So on a team in the very early days of unit testing, especially in the Microsoft world, um, trying to figure out what just testing a product looked like from a developer's perspective and expanded that out into figuring out what it was, what it looked like to test the product automatically from a QA, QE type of uh, perspective. But what the cool thing about DevOps is that it really takes that all the way to the end. You know, where, where are you going to get value? Where are you going to start realizing that investment? And um, those things, those earlier things are really important, but I'm really excited about taking it all the way to the end and, and being able to be there at the moment when the customer's eyes light up mm -hmm. and they, they really realize this massive investment that your organization has made into making them better. Um, and for me, it's really about um, finding that entire life cycle. But what I'm really excited about in the future is 
incorporating security into it. So I'm, mm. the thing I'm most excited about it at ChefConf is the compliance product, the inspect product, and getting security kind of fundamentally changed and coming along with us at um, at speed and velocity, where where their compliance and audit functions are right along with us with all the unit testing and all of the uh, automation that we're investing in our infrastructure. Let's double click on that and talk a little bit more about that. I've, I've heard a lot about compliance, certainly more so this year than in years past, as part of DevOps in a way that I just don't think it was really being addressed as previously. And as you're, you're bringing compliance and, and security protocols into what is also supposed to be a very high velocity way of building and delivering infrastructure and applications, what are some things that uh, people need to take into consideration and some best practices you might have to ensure that you're compliant, but you're also moving quickly? Yeah, so when, when, I have a, um, when I have a security person talking to me, at NCR we're very security focused. We're dealing with transactions. Those transactions have finances associated with them. They're core to the business of our customers. Security is number one for us. And so when we're talking about moving faster in, um, with a product deployment, um, they're kind of thinking about me, you know, going from a, a Chevy Malibu to a Ferrari, and they want to make sure I don't wreck the Ferrari into a tree, you know, because I thought that I could just push the, the gas pedal all the way down. <laughs> that would right? be a disappointment for everybody. Yes, and, and so they serve a very valuable function within our organization, and uh, the reality is, there needs to be a partnership there. And the only way that they're going to really be able to audit at scale and at velocity is if they automate that audit. Um, and our security people have really gotten that and we're getting behind Inspect. Um, but it does fundamentally change their organization from that of um, spreadsheets and, and manual checking or scanning uh, with, with uh, software to coding, checking things in and being a part of uh, the development pipeline just like everybody else is. That's really good advice and it sounds like NCR is is really kind of taking DevOps to heart but also doing so in a way that's ensuring that level of security and compliance so at the end of the day your customers and their customers get the best experience and experience that's secure and safe. Absolutely. Security is always number one for us because we want to do it safely but we want to do it safely with consistency and speed too and DevOps is helping us get there. Well, Michael, thank you so much for taking the time with me today. I really appreciate it. And for all your contributions to the Chef community, thank you as well. Thank you.